Fayette County Schools is tightening its restrictions on therapy animals in schools. The district says last year they had several incidents involving animals on campus, but they didn't go into detail about that. They say the dogs increase liability risk. New tonight, WKYT's Grayson Passmore shows us the new policy in place and talks with an expert about the benefits therapy dogs can have in schools. We find ourselves as a district in the dog business when we're really in the kid business. A move causing some controversy across the district. The Fayette County Public School Board has decided to limit the use of therapy dogs in schools with only two exceptions. We also have to consider how students who benefit from it, how that weighs against students who are experiencing trauma from it and make sure that we're finding a, a middle ground that can support both students in their needs. By law, the district cannot ban service dogs. Superintendent Dr. Demetrius Liggins and Chief Student Support Officer Dee Dee Newburn explain that therapy dogs, however, will only be allowed in schools in, quote, crisis situations, such as after a student death, or if a third party agency brings a therapy dog in for a special occasion. So far, two petitions have been started to keep therapy dogs at Morton Middle and at Liberty Elementary. They, they, they serve a great purpose and the people that get the service enjoy it and benefit from it. So if a dog is trained the right way, why wouldn't you allow it? The owner of Dog Training Elite of Central Kentucky, Tom Smotlick, trains both service dogs and therapy dogs. He says a properly trained and certified therapy dog comforts and supports those in hospitals, nursing homes, and in schools. It, it's not a, a six week program. It takes, it can take up to two years to get to be to that level. While the district seems set on this new policy, the number of signatures on the two petitions continue to rise. In Lexington, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. Smatlock says service dogs are state accredited, trained to help one person with their disability, and properly trained therapy dogs are certified, more so to help in group settings.